I had a number of things that I was doing. One was uh, through the Uber application, hiring rides uh, in order to charge people later on for driving without a business license or wrong class of driver's license. Because uh, at the time, and still, Uber wasn't licensed. And also we did Kijiji, or bandits we'd call them, people who offer on Kijiji rides for hire without business licenses and without proper driver's licenses. And also uh, just flagged rides, you know, uh, walk up to people and ask for a ride someplace and, and pay them money for that ride. And there was also uh, the regulations for the cabs, like people, uh, cab drivers smoking in their cabs. They wouldn't do that if they saw a uniformed vehicle for hire inspector. Uh, but I could see that happening or I could be in a cab with them and we'd end up charging them for those type of things. But it's important for the consumers, of course. Uh, they need to know that the vehicle they're getting into with the person who's driving is safe to do so. Uh, and it goes also for the drivers of these vehicles. If there's a person hiring themselves on Kijiji going to pick up somebody, they're not uh, safe, they don't have a shield They don't have in the vehicle, they don't have uh, any tracking devices, uh, they don't have a cab company for instance knowing that they went to a certain address to pick somebody up and they're going to drop them off at another location. So it protects both sides of the industry. Although the one side I'm speaking of are in a sense illegal to operate because they don't have the proper licensing.